Macaroni and cheese might just be my all-time favorite side dish, and this recipe is no exception. We're making a bechamel cheese sauce full of gouda and white cheddar cheese, and that's gonna be incorporated all around the noodles. And then we're topping off this whole mac and cheese with a pretzel topping, which makes this recipe super unique. This mac and cheese would not only be great for weeknight dinners, but also for Thanksgiving or the holidays. I hope that you'll stick around and subscribe for even more delicious side dish recipes. Recipes. To start off this mac and cheese, we're boiling one pound of pasta. Cook the pasta according to the package directions until it's al dente and then drain completely. Moving along, we're going to make a bechamel sauce to start off this cheese sauce. In a heavy bottom saucepan, melt 4 tablespoons of butter over low heat. Once it's completely melted, whisk in a fourth a cup of all-purpose flour. Allow the flour to cook for about 2-3 to three minutes. This just cooks that floury kind of flavor out so you don't taste that in your final dish. Then we'll turn our heat to medium and add in 3.5 cups of whole milk. Whisk that together until everything is combined and allow the milk to heat but not boil for about 7 minutes. Once you see that the milk is steaming and very hot, remove it from the heat and slowly add in your cheese. We're using 16 ounces of freshly grated Gouda cheese and 16 ounces of freshly grated sharp white cheddar cheese. Once all of the cheese is melted and cooked down, you'll be left with a really creamy sauce. From here, we're going to add the noodles and stir everything together. This is a baked mac and cheese, so we're going to transfer the macaroni to a greased 9 by 13 pan. Finally, we're making that delicious pretzel crust I talked about at the beginning of the video. So add four and a half ounces of pretzels along with half a teaspoon of garlic powder, half a teaspoon of Italian seasoning, and half a teaspoon of onion powder. Then we're using two tablespoons of butter to make that topping really decadent and creamy. Blend everything until it's well combined and then sprinkle that crust over the top of the mac and cheese. You'll bake this dish uncovered for 30 to 35 minutes in a 375 degree oven. Once you pull it out, the top will be golden brown and bubbly. This is such a delicious side dish that you are going to love. The full recipe along with tips and tricks will be linked in the description below.